I have been fit and well and living the way I want to, close to nature for the past four years. I'm so happy and I'm loving life again. Hi, my name is Lisa Pugh and I am fully recovered from having severe fibromyalgia for over 10 years. Where did it all start? Well, 1989, I was at uni and I got two cases of gastroenteritis from takeaway foods. I developed IBS. Um, I later got tonsillitis from having pushed myself quite hard in my final year. And the doctors had prescribed me with a course of antibiotics, which didn't work. So I had two more courses. By that time, my gut bacteria, my flora were pretty decimated and uh, I wasn't getting any better. I was feeling quite ill. I had aches and pains, fatigue, and brain fog. With all the doctors again, they were a bit baffled. At the time, they called it yuppie flu. They told me to rest, and that was all they could do. My mother, well, she liked alternative therapies, so she suggested a herbalist, and I went to see that. And it helped a bit. It took me about six months to recover. I've had another bout of what's now known as chronic fatigue syndrome. Very similar circumstances with stress, getting run down. And with that one, I went to see a kinesiologist. Now, he was fantastic. He prescribed me with a very strong dose of uh, magnesium and Chinese herbal medicine. Now, they were great but it took me a year and a half to recover that time. Fast forward again, I'm in a more stressful job that I loved, which was teaching, and uh, got the flu, and the pattern repeated itself. And I yo-yoed for quite a long time because I kept wanting to go to work, and every time I pushed myself, I'd have a setback. This went on for quite a long time, so, by this time I was on quite a few prescription drugs and I'd been diagnosed with an underactive thyroid as well so I'd lost a lot of weight. Um, I wasn't coping as well emotionally and uh, was put on antidepressants as well which had side effects. Aggravated my IBS and that made the condition worse. So again, having this yo-yo effect going on. This went on for quite a while until I had the chance to give up work and rest. That was ideal, I thought. Have a rest, get better. I was seeing a cranial osteopath, which was great. And it was okay, but again, every time I pushed myself, I seemed to have a relapse. I was seeing a new doctor at that point, and no one else had suggested this, but he said, let's see if you've got fibromyalgia. I said, OK. He did the muscle test. He diagnosed me with having quite severe fibro, told me there was nothing they could do, and just to rest, and I wasn't going to get better. This uh, caused me to be very depressed. In fact, I just gave up. Six months later, my marriage ended, and that sent me into a bigger black hole. All my symptoms were exacerbated at this point. I could hardly walk. I was so depressed, I didn't want to go on. I wasn't eating, I went down to about eight stone. I looked awful, I felt awful. Friends and family rallied round me. I found that if I put a brave face on it, didn't talk about it, it might go away. I ended up suppressing it, which was no good. About six months after that, I reconnected with an old school friend and uh, he took one look at me after 20 years of not seeing me. He took one look at me and said, we've got to do something about this. There must be a way of helping you. So together, we tirelessly researched into ways of uh, tackling this. We worked on many fronts together, but I was really ready 
to make the changes that were needed to get better. It took over four years to be fully recovered, but this is how I did it. With the body, well, I went all organic and natural, so skincare and makeup. Then physically, it used the bowing technique to unlock my muscles, kinesiology to stimulate, and then I have a daily practice of qigong and yoga, and I built that up very, very slowly and gradually as my body could take it. The environment, well, no chemicals. So out with all the cleaning products and just natural products after that. And then electromagnetic frequencies. Now these are key. They have a really bad effect on you. So out went the TV and spending more time outside in nature. Really, really important. Psychological, well, it was about learning to love myself again, changing how I thought, changing thought patterns, really important. Emotional, well, I was happier and I was in love, that really helped. But I was also following my dream, being an artist and uh, being here in the wood. Spiritual, really finding a deeper meaning to my life. <laughs>